Generally speaking, as woodworkers, we don't need things to be hyper accurate. You know, we need to be accurate, but we don't need to be like, you know, super ridiculously so. However, if you are doing things where like a segmented bowl or something where you've got 30 pieces and the angles are very, getting smaller and smaller and smaller, you will get what's known as cumulative error. So you're slightly wrong here and then it becomes slightly wronger and slightly wronger and slightly wronger around the ring. And by the time you're finished, it's way off and crap and you have to start over. If you need that level of accuracy in angles, or bevels, uh, if you will, uh, I highly recommend eye gauging's digital T-bevel and protractor. This is the box it comes in. This is what it actually looks like. This thing is fantastic. It's very well made. It's a very solid machined piece of steel. It's actually a lot heavier than it looks um, just in the photographs. Generally, they, they look like, uh, like a little thin piece of steel, but it's not. It's solid plate. It's very good. Uh, it has the same kind of functionality that you come to expect from eye gauging stuff. You know, just basic three buttons, on, off, zero, and then the hold button. Uh, the knob that locks it down when you get your angle right is huge compared to most of these things. Usually it's this goofy little brass knurled thing that's just tiny and a pain in the butt to work with. This one's huge. I like it. Once properly zeroed, this unit is accurate to within a fraction of a degree. It's fantastic. Uh, and to get it zeroed, you want to use something, you know, that you know is flat. Um, I recommend a granite stone granite plate uh, fantastic engineers have been using them for years and we did a whole video on this thing that can be found up here uh, so yeah you lay it on there clunk you hit the button that says zero and you've got it zeroed out once you've got it set to zero right and you want to say set an angle you, you have a, an angle in mind that you need to mark out then you can just simply adjust it say you want it to be 76.4 <laughs> Then you just tighten it up and there you go and then you write and scribe your line. If you need to check the angle, you can actually use this the other way and just have it loose and put it on there and see how close to 45 you actually got it when you cut it. Look at that. It's, n it's not quite 90, it's half a degree off. So I did mention that you can use this as a T-bevel. Uh, if you don't know what that actually means, uh, it, these pieces are offset from one another so that you can actually register the side of the workpiece to do your marks kind of mid-plank, so to speak. That's all that is, and it's very handy. The things that I actually like the most about this is how heavy duty the bars are and that this knob is actually a convenient size to actually work with, right? Like, I don't know, so many of these things have the, that tiny little knob that just does my head in and I hate them. So there you go, uh, eye gauging's two-in-one digital T-bevel and protractor. Fantastic, this one is going home with me. Everything you need to know about this and everything else you need to know to get woodworking can be found in the links down below in the doobly-doo. If this is your first time here, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe and all that YouTubey YouTubey stuff. Uh, I'm Phil Schimbein and I will see you when I see you.